to Jakaranda where we have the Kiambu leaders having a, a meeting and you know there's been some wrangles in the Kiambu leaders leadership between the governor and his deputy as well as the woman representative against the governor. So let's send in currently speaking in the Senator of Kiambu that's Kimani Wamatangi. <laughs> ndipo tukakata kauli tukasema ya kwamba hawa viongozi wote kibinafsi wataweza kila mtu wakati mambo yanatokea kwenye ofisi yake kuketi pamoja kama viongozi waliochaguliwa na kutafuta suluhisho ndipo sisi kiambu tukifikia mwaka wa 2022 wakati tamu yetu ya uchaguzi inakwisha tutakuwa tumepiga hatua ambazo watu wa kiambu watajivunia na kuona ya kwamba sisi hawakutuchagua bure wamechagua watu ambao wamejitolea kuhakikisha ya kwamba kazi inafanyika. So nikimalizia nataka niwashukuru eh, viongozi wote ambao wamepata nafasi. Sisi tumeanza huu mkutano leo saa moja asubuhi. Na vile mnavyojua viongo, viongozi wako na mawazo tofauti tumesikilizana kila mtu amezungumza amepata nafasi. Niwashukuru wajumbe wote kwa vile waliwacha kazi yao nyingi na wakakuja tukaketi kuzungumza. Niwashukuru ni mshukuru governor wetu alikuwa na mikutano mingi ingine amebidi kuairisha kwenye simu. Wana deputy governor vile vile hata yeye mikutano mingine ameairisha kwenye simu. E, mama county pia same thing alikuwa na mikutano zake. Na hata pia mimi kwenye kazi yangu ya bunge na kuwakilisha watu wa Kiambu vile vile tumejitolea siku ya leo ndio tuweze kukuwa na mwelekeo na njia ya kwenda mbele. Kwa hivyo nataka tuhakikishe watu wa Kiambu ya kwamba kaunti iko imara uongozi wao sasa huko imara na Kiambu sasa tunategemeo na tuna mpango ya kwamba kama kutakuwa kaunti sasa itaitwa model county kwa uongozi iitwe model county kwa hali ya maendeleo iitwe model county kwa kupiga hatua za zile sawa sawa itakuwa ni kaunti ya Kiambu kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki awatende vyema E, kama kuna swali labda mnaweza kuileta lakini bwana governor labda angependa kusema neno moja ah sasa vile governor hazemi neno moja basi yes just one thing because eh? <coughs> the the essence of our meeting today is basically to refocus our energy and we have resolved as leadership in Kiambu that we will as leadership right from the office of the governor deputy governor women rep senator as MPs and even our MCAs, and we've tasked the governor to also get the MCAs to work together with us, and in future we'll also involve uh, MCAs in some of these meetings, to refocus all our energies on delivery and development for the sake of the people of Kiambu. Because the Senator has said, we were all elected to serve the people of Kiambu, and we therefore have resolved that we will refocus all our energies. Even with issues coming up, we will meet and resolve those issues or on a day-to-day -day basis as they arise and we will have our frequent quarterly meetings. Therefore, the message we want to go to the people of Kiambu is that we are refocusing our energies and all our efforts towards delivery and development of the people of Kiambu and also refocusing on delivery, especially of the Big Four agenda in Kiambu and also in the country for those of us who have other responsibilities outside the county. I know it's not a very good day for you guys in the media <laughs> because uh, the newspapers will have less to write about. But we are not here to say that we are going to finish all Kiambu's problems. We are here to say that we want to provide a model for resolving our issues as they emerge. To imagine that there is not going to be any conflict or any dispute. The Kiambu leaders, they are speaking on the issues of their divisions and we, like I said earlier on, there have been divisions beginning first between the county governor and his deputy, James, that's James Nyora being the deputy governor and Waititu, as they call him, Babayao. They've been having wrangles and having some war of words and this escalated earlier, I mean late last week when the woman representative also threw her weight behind the deputy governor and accused the governor of being, of being insensitive and having some impractical plans and the governor responded by saying she should just deal with matters of woman representative and not delve into county government governance issues in terms of what the county government should be doing and so we've seen those kind of uh, 
pull a push and pull among those leaders and Deputy President William Ruto, who was there when the woman rep and the governor were having their war of words, told them they need to stop and focus on delivering for the people of Kiambu. And now the senator says that pretty much the message here, the senator has said, as well as uh, uh, the Kikuyu MP, Mwangi Shungwa, have said that they are one and they say they want Kiambu to become the next model county. But just looking at some of the body language there, we see the county governor looks a bit down. He's chosen not to speak at all and we shall be having the information because our reporter Shilan Juhuchire is there.